Hello, everybody, and welcome to Crime and Justice. What do you know about Jelani Day, also known as JJ, to his friends and his family? I haven't heard a lot of information out about this man in his case, and I just thought I would come on and give you some information that you may not already know, because we need to get his face out there, and we need to find somebody that knows something because as always somebody does for sure so let me get into this um just to kind of give you a quick overview jelani day was a college student from bloomington illinois he was last seen on august 24th 2021 and he was later found deceased in the illinois river that is just a brief overview. It was several, from what I understand, and we'll get into the article here. It was several days from when he went missing until his body was found. And they really have no information right now. There's, of course, they're still actively working this case as it's still a fresh case, but... There's not a lot of information coming in as to what happened to him and what led up to him being found where he was found. And his family is really asking for everybody to just keep his face out there, keep his story out there. And for anybody that has any information to please contact the Bloomington Police Department and give them that information. So let's do it. I found this really good article that gives the whole entire story. So we're just going to read that real quick so everybody can get a good read on what exactly is going on in this case. This says, okay, let me go back to the top here. Who was Jelani Day and what happened to him? Jelani J.J. Day is a college student who went missing in August 2021 and was found dead floating in the Illinois River. Day was last seen in Bloomington, Illinois on August 24th, 2021, after not attending several days of classes. And there's his picture, so everybody can get a good view of what he looks like. What he looked like there. Who was Jelani Day? Jelani Day was a 25 year old graduate student from Illinois State University where he was working through his master's degree in speech pathologist. He vanished on August the 24th, and two days later, Day's car was found in a wooded area miles from where he was last seen. Day's mother, Carmen Boland Day, has spoke out in pleading for some help finding her son following a massive wave of interest sparked in the case of Gabby Petito. What happened to Jelani Day in August 2021? Day went missing on August 24th, 2021. On August 26th, his vehicle was found, was found located in Peru, Illinois, and an initial search took place involving canines, drones, and ground searches. The FBI were also involved. Authorities returned on September the 4th, 2021, and found the body that would be identified as days floating in the Illinois River. LaSalle County Coroner confirmed Day's identity through forensic dental identification and DNA testing on September the 23rd, 2021, Bloomington Police said. A cause of death would not be given until cops carry out more toxicology testing, the coroner's office said on Thursday, September the 23rd. Cops would not speculate whether Day's death would be ruled a homicide. The college graduate's parents are appealing for help. In a statement released on September 23rd, they said there are no words to clearly communicate our devastation. We learned this morning from the LaSalle County coroner, the deceased man found in Peru, Illinois, on Saturday, September the 4th, is Jelani. Our hearts are broken. We ask that you continue to pray for our family during what will be very hard days ahead. Throughout these 30 days, our very first concern was finding Jelani, and now we need to find out what happened to Jelani Day. At this moment, there are more questions than answers surrounding Jelani's disappearance and death, and that is where we will focus our energy. 
As of this moment, we do not know what happened to Jelani, and we will not stop until we do. They added, this week we learned new evidence has been discovered and police are working on new leads related to Jelani's disappearance. This case is not closed and the investigation is not over. We still need people who have information to come forward. If you know anything about what happened to Jelani or had contact with him in the days and weeks before his disappearance, please contact Bloomington Police. So that just gives you the entirety of the story that he went missing on August 24th. The vehicle was found in Peru, Illinois on the 26th, but his body was not found until September the 4th. That's, I don't know, that's a big gap of time for between when he went missing and when his body was found. And the fact that they do not readily give a cause of death and they're going to do more toxicology testing, that would lead me to believe that his, whatever caused his death was not, you know, blatantly obvious. It wasn't, to me, that would seem like it would rule out that, you know, he wasn't shot, he wasn't stabbed, that kind of thing. Because those would be obvious traumatic causes of death. And if they're having to, rely on toxicology, then that just kind of puts it in a whole different perspective for me. I don't, I don't know where this case is going to go. I'm not sure. Like, you know, they've not said yet that it is a um, homicide, but we're going to have to wait and see on that one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And here's another article. This is an update from October the 1st. The mystery of the death of a son of Danville, Jelani Day. Discovery of Jelani Day's body in the Illinois River 11 days after his disappearance only raised more questions. Yeah. that is. I love this picture. That is a great picture right there. That is Jelani and his mother, Carmen. I really like that photo. That is, that, that is a nice picture of the two of them. It's such a sweet family. The steady, unsentimental female Google voice guides my brother Jeff and me to a wooded area here south of the Illinois Valley YMCA and due north of 12th Street on West Clock Avenue. Pulling off Interstate 80, we snake through Peru, driving past the Illinois Valley YMCA to where police said they discovered Jelani Day's four-door sedan on Thursday, August 26th, one day after he had been reported missing. Nine days later, on September, on Saturday, September the 4th, at 9.47 a.m., searchers found a body floating in the Illinois River near the Illinois Route 251 bridge. The LaSalle County Coroner's Office press release at the time did not identify the decedent as male or female, black or white, and gave no hint whether the corpse found floating even remotely matched Jelani's six foot one inch frame. The mystery swelled like the pain of a mother's broken heart. The discovery of a body only raised more questions, it shook Jelani's mother, Carmen Bold, Bolden Day, to the core, a petite mocha brown woman whose dentine smile mirrors her son's day, her son's day, 49 mold over the possibility that the dead body could turn out to be her baby boy. Oh, I couldn't imagine. I honestly couldn't. I could not imagine having to sit and ponder whether or not it was your child and, and how, you know, thinking about what are you, how are you, what are you going to do if it is or versus what are you going to do if it's not? And, uh, that's, that's so heartbreaking. And it's sad that so many families have to go through this. I just don't, I don't know, like at some point I've, I just, you know, you just want to stop because it just gets to be too much, but we can't, we can't give up. We have to keep going. Let me finish this. She hoped not, prayed not, chose to keep believing that Jelani would be found safe and sound even in the days and weeks that followed with no death definitive word from the authorities on the corpse's identity. 
And yet there was no solace, no answers to be found in Peru, not yet, only questions. Lingering questions amid an unfolding surreal, if not bizarre case that Day and her family found themselves facing with relentless dread and wishing, hoping that it was only a bad dream for which they might soon suddenly awaken. Oh man, that's, that's so heartbreaking for this family. The absence of answers and progress early on led Jelani's mom to press investigators to act with more urgency and intensity. She still wonders why they didn't search the river that first week after the discovery of Jelani's white 2010 Chrysler 300, which had belonged to his grandfather, who died in October 2014, and whose name Jelani bears as one of his two middle names. His mother was proud that Jelani had recently fixed up his grandfather's car, working and paying off the cost of repairs. The car was found with its license plates removed with no sign of the keys or Jelani. Ooh, that's the first I've read of that. Typically when you, when they, when you find a vehicle with the license plates removed, that's, leaning toward a stolen car. That would be, you know, usually that's what people do. You know, if they're going to steal a car, you know, they steal a vehicle. The first thing you want to do is get those plates off. That way they can't, the plate number can't be run. Huh. With no sign of the keys or Jelani. That's the... Mm. Huh, so that's something to ponder on right there. That That's kind of par for the course for uh, car theft would be to remove the identifiers off the vehicle, but why would they leave it parked in the middle of nowhere? Unless it was just somebody that was, you know, out boosting cars to just joyride around in them. I don't, that, but then, I don't know, that's strange. <clears throat> Excuse me. Day wonders whether an earlier search, rather than the passage of nine days before police searched the river, which turned up a body, might have made a huge dip, might have made a difference, might have yielded more answers, evidence, or perhaps clues about what happened to her son. A son who was once on his school swim team, an avid swimmer who didn't just end up in a river in a town an hour's drive north of his Illinois State University campus. Yeah, that does seem a little strange. Jelani Jesse Javante Day was born on a pre-summer Saturday in June of 1996 at 7 pounds, 9 ounces, and 21 inches long. He was the fourth of his parents, Carmen and Steve Day, five children, and the youngest of three sons. The married couple poured their heart and soul into raising their children in rural Danville, Illinois, Day plied her children with scriptures, taught them to be respectful. She and her husband pushed their children away from complacency and the entrapments of poverty, gangs, and drugs. Evident even in small town America and towards education and academic excellence, all five would earn college degrees. Wow. That's a beautiful family right there. It's a precious family. Miss Carmen's kids, as Jelani and his siblings were known, were raised in the Church of God in Christ, where the word of the Lord, nightly bedtime prayers, and even good old-fashioned church shut-ins were a way of life. She cautioned her boys especially, telling them that they had been, already, been born already with two strikes, one, the color of their skin, two, being black and male. A good name is better than riches, she told her son. She often told her sons, a good name no one can take from you. Jelani in Swahili means great, powerful, full of strength. By all accounts, he was a good young man with a future as bright as his grandfather's white 2010 Chrysler 300 with its black cloth top and handsome chrome wheels, a car found inauspiciously in Peru. 
My brother and I spy a faint creek beneath this wooded area where Jelani's car was found. We noted the apparent tire tracks and trample of brush that might have served as a good covering to ditch and conceal a car. We noted a piece of orange marker tape, but the absence of anything else that might mark this area as a potential crime scene. As we set up as we stand upon grass and soil, we have just learned more than two weeks after the authorities discovered it, that the body floating in the river had been identified as Jelani Day. You know, justice for Jelani, say his name. Yes, we have to keep his name out there. Somebody definitely has some explaining to do because this even though the cause of death is not known, it still stands out to me. The fact that the car was hidden in the area that it was in and the plates had been removed, that definitely tells me that, you know, he didn't just drive that car in there by himself and decide to go toss himself in the river. And I, I don't, I'm not buying that one at all. I don't think that's even on the plate as a possibility at this point. Not some, not somebody like this who is in school and has so much going for him academically and and getting ready to start his professional life. Now it just, I don't think it's going to happen. On September seventh, the coroner's office had released a statement saying that a preliminary autopsy on September fifth had determined the body to be male, but that it would take several weeks to months to make positive identification due to the condition of the recovered body. On the day my brother and I traveled to Peru, the coroner's office told me on the phone that a statement alas, 19 days after a body was found would be forthcoming. A press release popped into my email confirming what I had already suspected. LaSalle County Coroner's Office identifies the mail body located on 9421 body confirmed to be missing person Jelani Day. Cause of death still unknown. What happened to a young man so full of life, zest and promise, a vivacious mama's boy so beloved by family and friends, a son beloved by a father who, had can who has cancer and for whom Jelani was planning to donate bone marrow, a young black man who already had defied the odds in, the, in a world, even in the city of Danville, a hard scrabble town in a former coal mining area, the kind of place known to make or break you. A graduate of Alabama A&M University, Jelani had enrolled this fall at Illinois State with aspirations of becoming a doctor. His chosen major was speech pathology as he sought to make good on a childhood promise born of his friendship and compassion for a little boy who was teased for a speech impediment. A member of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity, Jelani was full of hope and vigor, and he was looking forward to the next leg of his academic journey to life and also to traveling with family to Destin, Florida this Thanksgiving. He had a million re reasons to live, not die. Standing at the wooded area beneath the YMCA, two things are clear to me. That this secluded spot is likely one that only a local might know, and that with the Illinois River about two miles away, it seems unlikely that a young black man parked his car here, then walked through a nearly all-white town without being seen to jump in those rippling river waters almost naked. Aided by Google, we drive toward the Illinois Route 251 bridge where the authorities pulled a young black man's body from the water, still in search of answers and justice for Jelani. Wow. That is a very powerful news article. I'm glad I came across that because I had never read that before. And I, I agree with them. It definitely does not seem to me that this would be a person that would intentionally jump into a river and harm them to take their own life. No, it's, I don't think it's that kind of case at all. It seems very suspect to me that they would find the vehicle 
in this secluded wooded area with no license plate, no keys, and with the river being like, you know, as they said, two miles away. I don't, I don't think so. Something is definitely wrong with this situation. And I'm hoping that the law enforcement in that area, the FBI, everybody that is working on that case is doing their absolute best and their due diligence to find out what happened to him because his family deserves answers and we need to know what happened. Somebody out there has the answers and they need to be coming up with something and telling the family what happened. Somebody needs to step up. So if you have any information about Jelani Day, maybe you live in that area and you've possibly seen him in the days after his disappearance and you know you should probably you should call Bloomington Police Department and turn that information in. I will put the information for contacting the Bloomington Police Department as well as FBI that is over this case down in the description below this video. And if you could help the Jelani family to get justice for Jelani Day by sharing this out to your friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on this video so you can get more videos like this one coming your way. And the next time I go live and everybody have a blessed day.